today I will show you how to create a camera shutter transition like this one using Filmora. To create this transition I have imported two video clips into Filmora. I have also imported a film frame image which I will be using to create the camera shutter effect. I have given the link of that image in the description for you. So I will start by dragging my video clips on the timeline. Then I will place this playhead roughly between these two clips and then I will zoom in on the timeline completely. Completely because we need to work on this file frame by frame. So now I will position my playhead between these clips and then from there I will move 7 frames back. Here I will add a marker. Then I will again position my playhead at the meeting point of these two clips and this time from there I will go 7 frames ahead. Here also I will add a marker. Now I will bring this film frame image on the timeline and I will place it above my clips like this. We only need this image between these two markers so I will split and delete the extra part of this film frame image which we don't need. Now we will be animating this film frame image so I will bring this playhead to the beginning of this film frame and here I will double click on the image and here for the transform I will add a keyframe and then I will change the value of scale to 190. Now I will bring the playhead to the center of this image and here I will change the value of scale to 167. Now I will bring the playhead to the end of this image and here I will change the value to 190 again. So our film frame image has been animated and it will look like a camera shutter in action. Something like this. So now let's add a sound effect to our transition. Go to the audio tab and here in the sound effects search for camera. Scroll down to find the camera sound effect. This is the one we need camera shutter for. I will drag this on the timeline. I will place it on the audio layer. Now let's zoom out a little bit. Now you can see here this wavelength. This wavelength indicate that our sound effect is only in this part of the audio. Rest of the audio is useless for us. So we will split and delete that audio part which we don't need. Now I will align this audio exactly under my film frame image and our final video is ready. Let's render it and then let's preview how it looks. So that's it for this video. If you find this video useful, please hit the like and subscribe button for more such videos. Thank you.